Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial of PostgreSQL. Today we will be uh, making another stable version of the database that we made the last time. So if you missed the last lesson, I recommend that you should watch it again. So today we will be discussing about uh, what if a product is removed after an order is created that uh, is already referencing it and what happens when an order is removed and it also removes the order items. So we will be using the restrict and the cascade methods today so what we'll be discussing about is uh, what happens if suppose a user has already ordered for a product and uh, if we are out of stock and we remove the product so this is against the action as the user has already ordered for that product and we need to deliver it so we cannot delete the product without delivering that uh, order or we cannot delete the product until and unless it is not gone from our uh, orders list or until and unless it is available or until and unless it is there in the products in the orders list that a user has ordered we cannot delete the product and the second one if a user is cancelling an order that is uh, if suppose I don't want to purchase something I have a mood swing and uh, I don't want my order anymore so what if if I cancel my order it should cancel all the products associated with it so for that we will be creating an uh, table uh, that uh, uses restrict and cascade method so I'll be using the products and the orders table that we created last time I'll be altering the order items table so I'll be creating it again so you could create it again that is uh, create table order items and uh, I have a product number that is of an integer type that uh, references products and product number. Next, I had an uh, order ID and that is an integer type that uh, reference uh, references uh, order and order id next i add uh, a quantity of integer type and i had a primary key product number and order ID so this was my order items table last time so what I'll be doing is I'll be adding something that is uh, on delete restrict so what this means is that if I have an order or if I have and product that is in transit or that has been ordered so the seller cannot cancel any product or he cannot remove the product from his uh, database or his table until and unless this order has been delivered or until and unless this product it exists in the order items table the product cannot be removed it cannot be removed without being delivered or it cannot be removed in between of a transit so this is the purpose of on delete restrict that means it would restrict it from delete until and unless this product number is there in this order items table next what we'll be doing is order item is uh, we'll be creating an uh, on delete cascade now what this means is that whenever a user cancels an order whenever he removes an order all the orders associated with his orders would be cancelled like all the items would be removed if he cancels his main order so that is the purpose of on delete cascade that means if that main item is deleted all the items in this is also deleted so we'll be testing it you see if it is done yes and uh, now you could test it with the GUI that is refresh it 
now you see uh, if I have products that is uh, my products are I'll be adding one more product that is a shampoo and price is 200 now uh, you suppose that uh, in the orders table I have already two orders that is okay and now see the order items table and I'll be creating a product number that is two Oops, uh, same mistake again and one for the order number one and two for the quantity and next I'll be creating three and the same order number that is one and one so you would see that uh, this is good now if I see that uh, I have my products table that is uh, could see the products table here I have three products that is one two and three and now I have ordered for two products that is product number two and product number three have been ordered by user number one now suppose what happens that uh, if I have ordered for this product and the main supplier he deletes this product so this condition should be prevented that is suppose uh, I have a, a user has ordered for product number two and product number three but for some reasons I go out of stock and I decide to delete this product without caring that some user has entered this so this should be prevented like suppose if I have been ordered for two and I try to delete it you would see that I get an error update or delete on products table it violates the foreign key constraint and you could see the reason that it is still reference from table order items so it is still reference from the table order item means there is a demand for this product there is still a demand from this product and I cannot delete this product now suppose I have product number one whose uh, demand does not exist now and I have uh, successfully supplied all the products and there is no more demand for this product so I can delete this and you would see that this would delete see this deletes and this does not delete because the product is still in demand the next thing that we added is the cart the order now you would see the order table now as you could see that I have uh, order ID 1 and order ID 2 now you could see that order ID 1 is uh, basically the order for uh, uh, this one order ID 1 now order ID 1 consists of two products that is uh, product number 2 and product number 3 of quantity 1 each now suppose if I delete this order or I don't want this order anymore and I decide see now if I delete this this would delete all the orders or all the products that I have ordered for now I delete one and you would see that uh, in I will refresh this here and you see that this is gone now as you could see this is the role of uh, on delete cascade system that if I don't want to order any product anymore so this would delete all the references in other table so thank you for watching this tutorial subscribe for more